Hello again, I'm Lynn Bowie, cruise ship here. It's 855, 59 degrees, Marty. It's our new mobile studio. Yeah, we're gonna be live out there. All winter long. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take a look. And get, you know, if you ain't got dreams, what do you got? Nightmares, okay. Mostly cloudy, pleasant today. Uh, same temperatures yesterday, 66 to 68, but the difference will be the amount of sunshine. Lynn, take it away. City police investigate two quadruple shootings that happened within just hours of each other. Mike Shu has details. Good morning. This quadruple shooting on Liberty Heights happened inside an apartment. Here, after one this morning, a 19-year-old died six hours earlier and two miles away. Four people outside of a corner store were shot. A 25-year-old dead at that scene. Earlier, a woman is also shot and killed nearby. So, since early evening Monday, three shootings, nine shot, three dead. Homicide is asking for help. No word if all of this is somehow connected. I'm Mike Shue reporting for WJZ. TJ Smith has announced he will run for mayor of Baltimore. Smith previously served as the spokesperson for the Baltimore City Police Department beginning in 2015 and serving through October 2018. On his campaign website, Smith wrote, I won't just be mayor, I'll be your mayor, one you can trust and be proud of. A judge accepts a guilty plea from Jared Ramos in the slayings of five staffers at the Capitol Gazette last summer. This surprise plea comes just days before his trial in the June 2018 massacre was to begin. A jury is expected to hear testimony about whether he was not responsible by reason of insanity. A Maryland Department of Health evaluation found Ramos was sane. Stay with WJZ. We will have much more news and weather today at noon. You can get more online anytime when you visit us at WJZ.com. Have a great Tuesday.